Hey everyone, we're going to be talking about 3D DMP, 3D Digital Map Painting. Now, this is a complex department, but it's much, much fun because we have 2D as well as 3D both involved in it. Um, it's a fun department to be in, but before we dive deep into the department and the VFX realm, let me introduce myself a little bit. My name is Roy. I've been a creative personal for the past 10, 11 years. I'm a 3D DMP trainer at Technicolor, and I've worked with projects like Harry Potter, Disney's John Carter, um, Stanley's Chakra the Invincible. It was one of Stanley's projects in India, and a lot more. I love working with people. I love working with creative uh, stuff, both in 2D and 3D. And it's going to be my honor, my privilege to talk about 3D DMP with you guys. Now, we're going to be starting off with the simple questions first. The first question being, what is 3D DMP? 3D DMP means 3D digital matte painting. It is a mixed media department where multiple artists in disciplines of 2D as well as 3D come together to create an environmental shot. The environment, unlike how it is done in the 3D department, DMP artists paint it on 2D softwares and then project it in quick, simple, three-dimensional surfaces made in 3D softwares. Both the 2D painting and the 3D volumetric shapes are then put together in a compositing software. After that, the environment is placed around either CG characters or live action characters so that it looks like as if they were actually interacting with that environment. And that is 3D DMP. DMP existed before computers. They were done on glass. The glass would then be placed in front of cameras and then the camera captures the painting on the glass as well as the scene behind. Pretty much as if you would be looking outside your window and scribbling on the glass. As much as it, it is called as 3D DMP, 2D is highly involved in the department because 2D gets volumetrically projected on the 3D surfaces so that it looks as if it's three-dimensional and has volume. Most of the time, when it is this extension of sets to be done efficiently, it becomes a very useful tool in production to do things when there is less time. Uh, in 3D, we have to build, let's say, an architecture, the imperfection, the cracks, windows, broken doors, maybe the aging, there's dirt fungus, etc. There's so much to do. And not only does it take time, but a lot of attention to details in this complex 3D department, which, if planned right, can be done very easily in just a matter of few days in 2D and then just project it on 3D so that it looks as if it was real. And that is why 3D DMP becomes very useful in production. The most fun part about 3D DMP is the way we can convert our paintings into volumetric or real looking atmospheres. And that too within a few days. It is a very fulfilling experience when we are able to add or attach imaginative concepts to real video footages. Now, just imagine if you could just add a flying spaceship or you can add an Eiffel Tower behind you when you're posting on your Instagram stories. It's the same experience for artists here. This is why it's so much fun no matter how complex the pipeline is. We can even match handheld camera motion, make the software understand that motion, understand that environment with 3D scans and then we build on top of that. That's why it becomes much fun to work with. The most useful software in 3D DMP has proved to be Adobe Photoshop, Autodesk Maya, Substance Painter, and Nuke. In the Academy, you get to learn 2D, 2.5D, as well as 3D. Now, as a 3D DMP artist, it's very important that you not only know 2D, but also to the point where you can handle things in 3D. So when you have these knowledges all together combined, that's when you become a successful 3D DMP artist. Because once upon a time, it was those days when DMP was only about 2D. But nowadays, the complexity and the abilities of these softwares that we have, it's much more efficient that we know all these pipelines in order to be a very contributing profile to the industry departments. First of all, you will be assigned with a trainer. I am a 3D DMP trainer, so some of you may be connecting with me. Other parts of the world will be connecting with their respective trainers. 
and we will be taking you through these disciplines of 2D, 2.5D and 3D where you guys get trained with these softwares and we will be training you through softwares like Photoshop, Maya, Substance Painter, uh, there's Nuke, Nuke is a very important software and we will be training you throughout these processes so that you know how to work between these softwares with one pipeline that is also valid for the industry standards. And that is where you become a true professional in 3D DMP and it will be our pleasure to train you. And the most rewarding part is that along with this world-class training, you are also getting paid. Isn't that great? I hope this was helpful and excites you for 3D DMP. I'm looking forward to catching up with you again. And until then, happy math painting.